Hi everyone, welcome to Flat Web TV, the monthly show where we talk about all the top news and happenings in the world of Flatland BMX. I'm Anthony Bulio, And I can't believe I'm sitting here. And this is Flat Web TV. Well, welcome back. I have taken my Ritalin and calmed down. This is uh, episode awesome. 19 of Flat Web TV. Um, and uh, we got a good show. Hope you enjoy it. Today, the first thing we wanted to talk about is the luckiest guy on the planet. Absolutely. Mr. Uh, Julian Politi from France. Uh, lucky with a little bit of bad luck. Yeah, it was kind of a bummer. Like, but anyway, dude got a cool frame. Yeah, he was super stoked about it. Posted this picture, uh, and then had to pay a import tax or euro tax. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was with that. I mean, it, technically, it's a gift. You shouldn't have to pay taxes on a gift. I, I don't know what the deal is. I mean, it's a bummer, but hey, congrats, congrats, and uh, we still got one more to give away. Right. So uh, this beast right here is the uh, the red Jungle Rider holiday frame. It's the smaller, the 18.8 uh, or 18.9, I believe. Yep, and it's the one I don't want, so I wanted the blue one. This is the one that I uh, massively want, so if uh, the winner wins it and doesn't want it, let's talk. Um, the contest for this one is a little bit different. Last time mm -hmm. it was a straight, put your name into a pot, and we'll pick it out, and you, know, you can mm -hmm. win a frame. This one uh, will take a little bit of creativity on your part. Uh, and we'll give you a little bit more time for it. So, the object for this one is to create something. And it's going to be very broad and vague. Yes. Create something using any media. We're talking photography, sculpture, video, pencil drawings, poetry. Whatever you want to do. Uh, there are only two stipulations. Um, number one, you have to create it. Obviously, don't have a team of people creating mm -hmm. it. We want individual creativity here. And number two, you have to incorporate the Jungle Rider brand and the Flat Web TV brand somehow into this creation of yours. Um, use the logos, use the words in a hip hop song, you know, whatever you need to do to put those two things into the, the creation. You have until August 15th to submit your entry. Uh, same deal, go to flatwebtv.com, mm -hmm. contact us, link, uh, and send, uh, send your submission. Absolutely. We'll, we'll gather all the entries and we hope it's, you know, a fair amount, at least as many as uh, for the blue one. And uh, we will gather a panel That's of right. judges yes. and call them down and uh, announce the winner of the red frame for the September show. September show. So August 15th, get your entries in, you could be the winner of this. Now, speaking of winners, yes, there are quite a few winners that we're just about to talk about. Yeah, there was this contest. Yeah, the small contest that uh, I didn't get to go to. I'm really upset about it. Actually, I, don't, I actually don't want to talk about it. I almost cried. Right. Uh, so Voodoo Jam went down. Um, we've just seen a ton of hype before and now a ton of hype after. We'll talk about that in a second, but we did want to uh, congratulate all the winners. And uh, you know, like we said in the Facebook post, we don't want to say we're totally clairvoyant, but uh, two of our picks were in the top three uh, for pro. Yeah, so Dom, of course, got the win. I think it was well-deserved. Uh, Matt Wilhelm took second, and Terry took third. I think they all had amazing runs. They did. They were very good. Very, very good. Um, Mark Coleman took first place in the AM class, and that pushed him into pro, which That's we'll right. talk about later. Yep. Uh, and Pedro Medina, I mm -hmm. believe is his name, took the win in the vet class with Rad Dad catching third. That's right. Uh, Mike Smith got second there. So uh, it looked like a great contest, a lot of good vibes. Um, there was no shortage of video. Yeah, it was absolutely insane the amount of video. And uh, I wanted to kind of pay a little homage to all the video edits that were put out there. Now, I'm going to cover, a, just talk about a, a few of them. But uh, the, the amount that I'm going to talk about is probably the equal amount that I probably forgot or missed. missed yeah. 
So I'm just going to rattle through them here real quick. The Eric Otto pre-jam video, 14, I think it's about a 14 minute video. Great. Great quality. I mean, I think it really captured the entire pre-jam and all the just crazy insane tricks that went down. Super cool. Uh, the uh, Art Magazine by Anthony Crespo. Also great. Another really, really good edit. Yeah. I uh, think uh, maybe <clears throat> Tim McKay might have helped with that one. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. I might be wrong, but I think so. Yeah. Uh, Freedom BMX had a great video. Uh, we had, Rad Dad had a ton of footage. A ton of footage. And very, uh, you know, as a nice guy that he, mm -hmm. that he is, cut up runs so you, you could watch a lot of individual yeah. runs, which I, which I always like. <clears throat> which is very, very cool. Um, and then there is, actually help me out with that name here real quick. Raphael Freud. Yep. Great little edit from him. Um, and then there were there was the, the ESPN edit yep. done by Fat Tony. Yep. Uh, there was the free gun underwear edit, which I'm not sure who did that, but I have a sneaking suspicion it might have been Fat Tony as well. Yep. Um, there was the, the Global Fat Flat videos, and I'm actually not sure who shot those, uh, but they were still very, very good videos. Yeah. Um, that's actually my favorite videos of Dom of the contest were the Global Flat videos. Okay. Um, and then there were just a ton of raw clips um, all over the place, all over on YouTube. And I'll, I've got links to all these videos in the show notes. So if you want to go and check out any of those videos, uh, check them out. Show your support. Absolutely. Like, there, there's been some, uh, you know, talk maybe this contest has been overhyped. I don't think so at all. I think it deserves all the hype it's mm -hmm. getting. I want every contest to be like this. I want pre hype videos for Anarchy and Anderson and, and the Texas Toast uh, Jam. Mm. Texas I mean, toast, yep. this is kind of what we got to do as Flatlanders is hype up our events. And uh, these are two significant contests uh, that will Agreed. finish the Am Flat circuit. So, yeah, let's see those hype jams for uh, the Indy contest and the Texas contest. I know we'll do a Texas one for sure. We'll definitely do a Texas yeah. one for some reason. Absolutely. So, uh, speaking of, the next uh, stop is in um, Anderson, Indiana. It's at Joe Miller's Skate Park. Right. Uh, it's the third stop on the Am Flat circuit. It's called Anarchy and Anderson, so maybe they're going to get crazy. Yeah, and maybe. I hear that the surface is going to be one of the one of the best surfaces of all the stops. This uh, has been uh, documented. It, it sounds like it's just smooth concrete. Yeah. Can't, uh, can't go wrong with smooth concrete. Yeah, and not like overly slippery. Yeah. It's got some, yeah, it's, it's not texture, but it's got some sort of grip to it, so. And it's at a skate park, so I mean, that's fun as well if you're yeah. 